So we have a brand new Prusa SL1S Speed. We have the Elegoo Mars 3. We have also Creality Ender 7 Core XY 3D printer. And we have a Kickstarter campaign from Trunksy, a resin 3D printer. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and update videos right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Baggin. And thanks for being here. Before I'm going to start this news and updates video, a little disclaimer, the pictures that I'm going to share within this news and updates are from Prusa, from Creality, from Elegoo and from Trunksy. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the video. So the Prusa SL1S Speed. This is a resin 3D printer next in line of the SL1. This SL1S is going to be printing in higher speeds or at higher speeds. This printer has a bigger print platform. It's 25% larger than the SL1. This machine has also a 5.69 inch LCD screen with a new printing volume of 127 times 80 times 150 millimeters. The SL1S cures in 1.4 seconds for each single layer. And this can reach up 80 millimeters per hour. So this machine, as they, they state in their blog, is very perfect for quick prototyping. And special on this machine, like the SL1, is also that the VAT tilts. They use a monochrome LCD screen instead of a standard RGB display. And they also replaced the old uh, UV LED panel with a brand new LED array, which is four times more powerful than the SL1. If you are interested in this machine, check out the blog of Prusa and also check out the live stream on YouTube about the SL1S. And then we have the Creality Ender 7. Well, this came as a surprise because normally Creality make teaser videos about brand new 3D printers that are going to come very soon. Well, in this case, I heard during my live stream that Joel was also going to do a live stream of a brand new 3D printer, the Ender 7. As mentioned in previous videos from me, this is going to be a Core XY 3D printer. They also hinted with the shape during their uh, seventh year anniversary from Creality, you could see how the shape is going to look like. Well, in the video of Joel, you can see how this machine looks like. So this machine, this is a huge machine with 30, 30 aluminum extrusions on the side and a big 8040 U beam. I have never seen them before, but after researching a little bit on the internet, those beams are used typically in CNC milling machines or other heavy duty machines. So Creality stepped up their plan with this U beam or C beam. The wires are looking very nice from the base. There are wires going to the top of the machine and they use ribbon cables and also cable uh, sleeving and they use clips to attach the wires to the uh, backside to the C beam extrusion. Creality use a cantilever arm bed for this, uh, this Ender 7. I have also noticed during that video that this machine, the, the bed is going very slowly up. I don't know if this is normal, but I think that that can be improved on the machine. They also use yellow springs, which is very nice, very sturdy. They use a assistant bed leveling, the AUX 
bad leveling. The printing speeds or the, uh, the travel speed of this machine is at 250 millimeters per second and they use a high flow hot end to cope up with the uh, fast speeds of this 3D printer. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 250 times 250 times 300 millimeters. They use linear rails, which is very nice. Thank you, Creality, for listening to the people about using linear rails. And also the hot end temperature is 260 degrees Celsius. And I think the bed temperature is somewhere on the 100 degrees Celsius. So I will point, point out to the video of Joel doing this unboxing and first print of this Ender 7. And let's go to the next topic. The Elego 3 Ultra 4K Mono LCD 3D printer from Elego. Elego comes with a brand new resin printer called the Mars 3. Well, this machine looks very different, more round. They use a 6.6 .6 inch uh, Mono Ultra 4K screen for faster printing with printing speeds of 1.5 till 3 seconds per layer. And it has more than 2000 hours before you have to replace it. And the screen has also a powerful COB light source. I don't know where that stands for. Please let me know in the comments. Elego uses also in this resin 3D printer a brand new Fab Film. Elego call, calls this the Fab Film 2.0. It facilitates in better printing results. Also, the outer uh, appearance is a little bit different, not the boxed shape that you used to see it's more round it's more uh, elegant and it looks pretty amazing also on the front side there's a front mounted usb so you can put your thumb drive right in there and start printing and further there's also a very cool thing this resin 3d printer comes with c2 box pro slicer uh, for free which is normally with a registration of 169 US dollars. So Elegoo comes with this awesome new resin 3D printer, the Mars 3, and we will see when it is going to be available soon. The UltraBot Mini LCD 3D printer, a resin 3D printer from Trunksy on Kickstarter. Well, as I look on the page from Kickstarter, it looks like Trunksy never had any Kickstarter campaign paints before however i can remember that we had two kickstarter campaigns last year from trunksy so hmm so little highlights about this trunksy ultra bot it has a 2k screen it has a precision of 0.01 till 0.1 millimeter it has a rapid printing speed of 20 millimeters per hour it has a very stable z axis and the print size of this resin 3D printer is 66 times 118 times 150 millimeters. On the Kickstarter campaign, they say built-in battery. Well, it doesn't really have a battery, but the power cord cable is connected right onto the resin printer. I think similar machines or other resin 3D printer machines have this same kind of thing. And some other printer specifications the display is a 3.5 inch touchscreen so the printing volume of this resin printer as mentioned 66 times 118 times 150 millimeters and some other thing that i see on the kickstarter campaign they have a timeline and it seems that they cancelled in january of this year the crowdfunding campaign to restart it in June. I'm wondering why they cancelled it. And so the pledges of this resin 3D printer on the Kickstarter campaign, the flash sale is for 179 US dollars. You have a super early bird of 209 US dollars and so forth. Well, check the Kickstarter campaign in the description of this video. So to wrap up this video, there are some awesome machines going to hit the market any soon. Some machines 
need a little tweaking, a little upgrades to make sure that the machine is going to work when sent to content creators. And also the Elegoo Mars 3 is looking very awesome. And if you are a professional, check out the SL1S from Prusa. If you have some news related topics, some awesome things that you want to see covered on the Sakurai 3D Prints news and updates or in the closer look videos, tag me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. Thank you. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters, Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixum Duke. Thank you for your support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. While out there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D Prince. Bye-bye.